Rise and shine. Prime family, rise and shine, man. What's poppin', y'all? No intro today. Uh, y'all just finna hear me talk, bro. Uh, I got a lot of things that uh been weighing on my mind real heavy lately. It's just like, damn, bro, I ain't even gonna cap at this point. It's bothering me a little bit that uh, me and my ex really not cool, like, and I can't really reach out to her, like, on some, like, like, we can't even have, a, like, a mature conversation because I'm blocked, bro, still, and it's really bothering me because, like, you know what I mean? Oh, let me sit down. What we had was, like, Real love, bro, and I ain't really not. I never, I never even had that with anybody before. I really don't want to hear y'all saying no shit like, you know, why didn't you just hit her up? Why didn't you try to contact me and shit like that? I already tried all that. Well, I and I, and, and, and you know, a nigga is still blocked. You know what I mean? Like, and that's how you know a motherfucker really, really love your ass too. Is if you gotta block them for everything. You don't. You can't even see what they doing no more because you just know you got to get over them. I don't blame you. We don't follow each other on no media no more. No Twitter, no Instagram. We ain't. The numbers is blocked. All that shit is just blocked. You feel me? That's just something that we, 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 we had to do to get over each other. Well, she got to do it. You know what I mean? Like, she blocked me. So, But I don't blame her. Like, I, don't, I ain't mad at her for none of that shit. Like, I don't blame her at all. Um, but I just wish it wasn't like that so I could kind of reach out to her because it really bothers me that things really ended the way it did and I really don't even fuck with that bro and I'm not coming and I'm not even trying to be negative or none of that shit like saying like oh I don't fuck with her I don't fuck with that like bro I ain't gonna lie like if I really love you as a person bro in real life like I can't take it I can only take it so far with you like I ain't I can't I can't beef with no one I once loved, bro. That's that's my issue, kind of like, like on some real shit. Like, just the thought about you know, quote unquote, beefing. Cause my term, my 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 definition of beefing, bro, is probably totally different from y'all uh, definition, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, like 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 the way I, I would handle beef is off the wall, bro. So like. I can't look at myself beefing with a loved one, bro. Like, I can't beef with my brother. I can't beef with not, no one I call my family, not my real family. Like, you know what I mean? Keanu was a loved one, bro. She was my girlfriend. I don't really have girlfriends. I don't really have situ... I don't really have relationships. Like, I don't really even do all that. You know what I mean? That's a little different and out the box for me. You feel me? So, the fact that we not even, like, cordial is kind of, like, bothering me because I don't want... I feel like that's kind of not real, bro. I, like, 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 we, like, we used to sleep together, like, like, we had our own, we had our own career together and shit like that. So, like, it really upsets a nigga that like shit in the way, in and in, like, to think like, damn, like, Shotty probably hate my, I don't, I don't hate her, like, I don't give a damn about none of the shit she did, bro, on the internet, like. I don't care if she got them fucking with or fucking on or anything with a nigga that I thought she was doing shit with in a relationship, bro. I don't care about none of that shit because as, as a man, bro, you look past that shit at the end of the day, like, you know what I mean? Like, especially if y'all not together, like, like you know, life moves on. All you got to do is accept shit. So once I, you know, came to the conclusion, like, and I accepted things that we weren't together no more, everything is boo with me. It's cool. Like, do your thing. Like... I'd rather not hate each other. Like, I ain't mad at none of this shit she got going on. I actually applaud all the shit she got going on right now, bro. Just me being real. Just me speaking on, you know, how I really feel. Like, this ain't, like, 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 bro. Everything I'm saying right now, by the way, is not just for no YouTube shit. Like, I wish I could just talk to her. You feel me? Like, on some real shit. Like, I would, like, really, like, it's like, it's like I'm talking to her because I want her to, you know, see this because... I want to get in contact with her and, you know, just talk about, you know, certain things that we had going on in real life, you feel me, like, like, and just, you know, talk to her about what's going on right now and shit like that, and just let her know, bro, hey, I don't give a damn about what you did and what you posted about me, I don't care about you putting my full name on the internet on blast, I don't care about you, quote-unquote, exposing me, 
you know, I like that's cool, bro. Like, like, like. Well, it ain't cool, but I'm saying like, I, I, I forgive you even if you don't apologize. Like, like it, it that shit straight, bro. Like, like, I know you was in your emotions. I know, you know, you know that I know women, bro, and women are emotional creatures, bro. Like, I get it, bro. And you know what I mean? Like, I ain't, I ain't really tripping off of it because that, that's what come with, with fucking with. You know, women sometimes they gonna go they they, they gonna they, they gonna go the extra mile, bro. I deal with women, bro. I know women, bro. I like like I'm really a womanizer, and I, and I, and I know how the, the mind of a woman work. You know what I mean? And for y'all niggas that think it be so easy dealing with a bad bitch, I say I want a bad bitch, and this and that and the third, bro. Y'all niggas don't even be strong enough for that shit, bro. I ain't even gonna cap. Uh, you got you gotta be a line to fuck with fuck with you know the, the top top females out here in these streets, bro. Know what I mean? Cause each bad, you know what I mean. Each bad female got a problem, and you can everything don't be sweet, bro. Feel me? I'm talking to the niggas who you know think they can got their handle certain shit. But nah, um, I ain't tripping out that, bro. I wish we could just like, like, like. I just want you to know, like, I don't, I don't hate you or none of that. I don't not fuck with you, like. I support what you got going on. Like, I applaud what you're doing. Keep putting these lame man niggas on your channel and finessing each and every one, bro. Like, like, that way. And you know what? It's funny because me and you both know, like, you know why I really, really liked you and loved you and shit like that. Because you know I thought you was, like, she was, she the female version of me, bro. That, that, that's what y'all don't know. Like, like, probably like, 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 y'all know, bro. She really the female version of me. And that's why I really like her. That's why she grabbed my attention like that, you feel me? And I seen that in her, I seen that dog in her. Like, I don't just attach myself to any type of female, you feel me? Like, that one thing y'all gotta know, like, I knew she was a dog, bro. That's why I really, I, like, and I don't mean like a dog, like, I don't mean nothing in no negative way. Don't take nothing I'm saying in this video or anything negative, like, at all. Like, like, I'm just saying I knew she had certain shit in her that I liked, you know what I mean? Hold on, let, let, let me get up, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna get up. I knew, I knew, I knew she was a dog, and I really fucked with it. So it's just like I had to get her. And now, like, you know, sometimes I had talks with Kiana during a relationship and shit like that. Stupid loud ass bike. Sometimes I told her, like, you know, in order to reach your full potential. Just being honest with you, you gotta be single, bro. I know what you can do if you single. Like you'll you'll be teed up. Like we used to sit in the bathroom sometimes for hours and just talk. You feel me? And I I, t I used to tell her that, like you know what I mean? Like on some real shit. I think you'll be better off single. You'll be more happier, and you'll reach all your goals and shit like that. Cause you know what I mean? Cause during our relationship, it was a lot of unhappy moments, bro. Even though it was a lot of good moments, it was a lot of unhappy ones. Like. Yeah, like a whole bunch of that. Like, y'all ain't get to see that shit because all y'all seen was the happy ass pranks, the happy ass vlogs, the happy ass trips, us making money and shit like that. Y'all seen the good shit, but y'all ain't really see the bad. So, um, I really don't blame her for, you know, doing all the internet shit and stuff like that. I, I hate it, but at the same time, shit, it is what it is. She emotional. And a lot of that shit was just building up in her, you know what I mean? Like, 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 like she. She went through so much, bro. She put up with a lot of my bullshit, bro. I, I ain't even gonna cap y'all. And I put up with a lot of hers. But this ain't about, I ain't making this video about, you know what I mean, me per se, saying I went, uh, I put up with a lot of her bullshit, but she put up with a lot of my bullshit, bro, and shit. And she still stuck with a nigga, you know what I mean? Cause I, it, it, it was love, you feel me? Like, 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 like. I learned a lot about love when I was fucking with her. I, ain't, I don't really know much about love, bro. I can't even lie to y'all. Like, I don't really get all into the love shit. I'm really big on loyalty, not love. So, you know, fucking with her made me realize a lot. And shit, I know deep down inside, even sometimes I feel like, man, this girl don't fuck me for real. She ain't solid. Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. Nah, bro, she really loved the nigga, bro. I ain't even gonna cap. And I really loved her too. You feel me? That why, I, that why I like, that's why I don't want it to just seem like we just hating, hating each other, bro. Fuck all the negative shit, bro. Keep doing what you doing, too. Like, like, pimp these niggas, bro. Finesse these niggas. You, you, you got a lot of my game, bro. You know what I mean? You learn a lot fucking with me. You know, you know, you know what's happening. You know what I mean? Like, like, apply what I be saying. 
to your life now. And you gonna and you you gonna you know what I mean you're gonna go the fuck up. Just like I learned a lot from you. You feel me? We that one thing about it, we learn a lot from each other. There was never one side of where she just learned a lot from me. Nah, and I got a lot of game from Kiana too. You know what I mean? That's why we were together. Yeah, you know, we ain't gonna be together if we ain't just learning from each other and helping each other build. Nah, fuck that. That's why we was together, cause we was helping each other build like a motherfucker. She learned a lot from a nigga, bro. I learned a lot from her. You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna speak on, I, like, I, I wanna speak on positive shit. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like. Like we really ran it up together, like besides money, like, like, like we learned a lot from each other, bro. So the only thing was just a lot of fuck ups just came with what we had going on, y'all. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, like, I'm talking to the, the our supporter uh fan base right now. Don't think that we just gave up on what we had so easily. I don't want y'all to think we just gave up, like, damn, I'm so mad. Like I get a lot of DMs like Bro, I'm so mad. Y'all not together no more. Y'all my faves. Woo, 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 woo. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. We, we ain't give up on this shit easy. Like, like it's been a lot. It's been real tough times. Like, like, like before we y'all seen us really, really in. Like, it was problems months before that where we could have just ended. You know what I mean? But we just stuck it through. We kept fucking with each other and tried to stay solid with each other because we knew what we could possibly do, but I ain't gonna lie, it just didn't work out. And like, the, the, the Houston shit really like killed, you know, the potential we really had together, no cap. But I ain't gonna lie, me, 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 me and Poppy had, me, me and Poppy had a lot of potential. But, you know, I feel like it's best that we just not together and there's many reasons for that like shit the start of our quote-unquote relationship or situationship like of us first talking the start of it it wasn't even, it wasn't even good like like the first couple of weeks of what we had going on wasn't even good like shit we had problems when we just met each other after our first time doing anything with each other like we had problems right then and there like shit no cap and plus she she came to me when she wasn't even healed from her past relationship. You know what I mean? Like, we all know that, though. We ain't got to spend too much time talking about that. But, like, I just, it would have, things would have just been differently if, you know, maybe would have played our cards a little bit more better. But, shit, you know, I don't regret nothing. And I'm sure she don't. I told her to always live life with no regrets. Don't ever regret shit. You know what I mean? But things would have been a little bit different. Uh, we had a lot of problems before we even got together on a serious note. Like, y'all know, I, if y'all a true supporter of me and her, y'all know we was just, quote unquote, in a situation before. Uh, um, I asked her out at my um, album release party last year and shit like that. Because it took a while for us to get in a relationship because we just kept having real life issues and real life problems, bro. You know what I mean? Like, we, I ain't gonna cap. We were never just like, like, all the way good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I wish we could. Like, bro, me and her had so much potential. I, you know, I wish we we could have just been good sometime. But that shit was hectic, bro. But we still loved each other. Like, like, like. I ain't gonna lie. Like, me and Kiana, if we if we had a movie, like, y'all would be amazed. Like, with the shit we we, we been through. Like, like, for real, like. Shit could have been better too though, like throughout the whole situation and relationship. I could have treated her better and shit like that. You know, I can't say that. I'ma always better I'ma always say that because shit. I ain't have to do her the way I did it, you know what I mean, some of them times. You know what I mean? I ain't had to do it like that. With some of the shit I did. You know what I mean? I could have treated her with more care. I could admit that. I could have cared way more. Why, why I could have showed that I care way more. It's just, I'm a little different. And it's, a little, I'm not really an emotional person. Well, I, I'm, I'm emotional, but I'm not aff like affectionate. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I ain't good at showing, you know what I mean? Shit like that, so, you know, but I'm getting better, you know, as I grow as a man and shit like that, you know what I mean? Um, but I ain't gonna lie, what we fucked up at too was, well, where I fucked up at is just 
you know, when I met her, I wasn't really ready for commitment. And ne neither was she. Now, I'm gonna say we fucked up. Not just me, we fucked up, cause I know for fact, bro, ain't no way you could tell me you was ready for commitment when you just got a relationship, you feel me? Like, but we just fucked with each other so heavy and we got attached to each other. We were spending every day with each other. So we thought it just made sense to really get together. She thought she was ready to be with me. You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna cap like she was the one trying to apply the pressure on me. Like, let's, I want you to be my boyfriend type shit. You know, I wasn't, I, I knew I wasn't ready, but we started thinking like, well, I started thinking like, maybe like, it makes sense for us to be together. We might as well, cause we live, we damn near living together. We, and we sleeping with each other every day like shit, you my girl, you know what I mean? It don't make sense for nobody else to have you. So you might as well just be mine. That yeah, we fucked that bad and I feel like things would have been smoother we but we just would have stuck it out as friends. You know what I mean? That's why I always felt like we could be good friends. That's why I'm so really I'm it don't sit right with me that the shit ended how it ended. Like cause damn girl, we ain't even friends right now. Like we ain't even cool. Like like I wanna be able to just hit her up sometimes on some cool shit. Like, I ain't gotta talk to her every day, every month, or none of that shit. Like, just, you know, on some cool, cordial shit. Like, like we ain't gotta, you know, do anything we, we don't wanna do, but you know what I mean? I want her to be able to just hit me up, like, hey, like, you know what I mean? Ask me for anything, like, cause I, I don't mind giving her the game, cause she with my girl. And she know I got a lot of game, and I know she got a lot of game. I, what if I wanna hit up for something, you know what I mean? I don't wanna just not hit me back. You feel me? So, more of the story is, I just I just don't want the bad blood, bro. And I don't really like that shit, bro. Because I don't, it don't sit right with me because we once loved each other, bro. You know what I mean? But, I ain't gonna lie. If it wasn't for that tube house shit, if it wasn't for the tube house little fuck up, like, 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 if it wasn't for the little Houston, if it wasn't for the little shit that y'all seen on the shade room and all that shit, like, all that extra shit going on, like, the little, uh, matter of fact, let me let, let me speak on the whole thing, man. Let me speak on the whole thing. So, goddamn, a few months ago, uh, you know, we signed to a management company, and long story short, they gave us opportunity to come to the tube house thing. Shout out to the tube house. Shout out to them for letting us, you know, fuck up the tube house and you know run the show and goddamn do what we did on that goddamn thing. Uh, but. Um, so we get to the tube house. Me and Kiana both have to understand in real life that we are single. You feel me? We single. Management knew we single. You know, so they threw a girl in a room with me at the tube house. And really that escalated the big problem that me and Kiana had. You know what I mean? Um, it was cool that first time, that first episode where y'all seen us in the room together and shit like that. In real life, we was cool after that. It was an understanding that we just working. I ain't even talk like I ain't even talked to uh Daz. Daz was the girl that was thrown in the um the uh the room with me, as y'all know. You know what I mean? I ain't even talked to Daz after that. Like we ain't get to know each other, none of that shit. Oh, uh, that ain't happened till we left Houston and we was we was gonna come back. When we left Houston and went back to Atlanta, we still was going through major shit and we were still not together, like we just coming to the conclusion that okay. We ain't finna be together no more. You got what you got going on. I got what I got going on. You feel me? So I called management and said, hey, man, I uh, my channel got hacked, so we need to build this new channel. You feel me? They told me, yeah, fuck the other channel. We're going to get that one back, but you need to start working on your new channel because we ain't got time to wait on the other channel. So long story short, I was like, hey, yeah, put, put, me, on, put me on some girls out there in Houston. We're going to do videos together. And matter of fact, put me on a girl from the tube house. Get shot from the tube house, the, the, the licensing girl, and they was like, "Yeah, yeah, we got you. We, we gonna tell them we gonna see what she wanna work." So boom, I hang, I get off the phone with management. That same day, Kiana called my phone, like you know, in her feelings, very emotional about me wanting to work with the girl. I don't know how the fuck she knew that, you know what I mean? I wanted to work, but I didn't think it was gonna be a big problem. Like, I was really confused when she called my phone on some shit like that. You feel me? So. I broke it down to her, you know, we had a long conversation on the phone, broke it down to her like, you know, shit, I ain't got no subscribers on this new channel, so I gotta do what I gotta do to build my channel. I don't give a damn about none of these folks that's going on the channel. If you gonna be my girl, you gonna be my girl. You feel me? Like, 
I ain't gotta do no spice shit or none of that. I'm just, you know, I'm finna be on some troll and shit. She had an understanding, you know what I mean? It took her a long time to understand, but after I broke it down to what was going on, she said everything was everything, everything was cool. So, days go by, it's almost time for us to go to Houston. She went a few days before me. I didn't even know she was about to go to Houston. Uh, I heard through the goddamn grapevine that she was trying to DM Dez in real life, not on no scripted TV show shit. She wanted to DM Dez and I guess try to check, you know what I mean, what was going on. So that's how they turned it to the little entertainment thing. Like the management was like, nah, if you're gonna do that, we're gonna make it like this. You know what I mean? They put the little entertainment shit behind it and they mixed it up. But the reason why I'm saying all that is to say, things got a little bit too carried away with what we had going on with the little entertainment thing. You feel me? In real life, you know, Kiana just felt some type of way about me doing the video with Shawty, you know what I mean? Cause in real life, me and Kiana even had conversation like, yeah, hey, like she asked me, do I think Dez look good and shit like that? And I told her, yes, yeah, she, she do look good. You feel me? Like I ain't lie about it and none of that shit. And so I could see, I'm saying this to say, I could see why she would be upset with some of the things I was doing, like having Shawty put my chain on me in the video and me going over the crib late at night cause I ain't getting no videos done during the day, all that shit was stupid like i could have just rescheduled for the next day and shit like that but that was my mistake like you know what i mean I, I, i'm blaming myself like that's my fault you know what i mean i apologize for the little miscommunication or you know what i mean just just not handling things the right way i could have handled things a better way and maybe if i would have handled things a better way i'm not saying maybe we would be in a relationship still but things would be a little bit better maybe things wouldn't be so heated we'll probably still be cool or cordial but the way i handled things was probably you know not in the best way and i could see that you know what i mean at the end of the day things get a little get a little bit too carried away and a lot of people did get in their feelings about shit and that was like the icing on the cake for everything because we've been having problems and shit like that so it really just went from one thing to another and shit yeah what it is at the end of the day um I ain't mad at you, bro. You know what I mean? It is what it is, what you done did. Like, uh, I ain't never, like, I know I ain't never getting no apology from you and shit like that about the shit you put on the internet. Maybe you're not sorry. Maybe you not even finna respond to this video, but at the end of the day, bro, I still forgive you. You ain't, you ain't gotta be sorry, bro. You ain't gotta apologize. I, deep down in my heart, bro, I, 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 I forgive her, bro. Like, shit. It is what it is. Like she did that shit. That 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 that's what come with it, bro. I ain't surprised. I wasn't shocked. You feel me? Like I fuck with a baddie, bro. Like every every girl I ever had came with a major problem. You feel me? Ain't nothing I can't handle. So it's just like shit. She did what she did. I ain't I ain't shocked. She just went on the internet and her feeling. That shit. Like nah, I'm not not saying this in a negative way, but she, she was doing that the whole time old relationship so it wasn't like anything shocking to me like it just you know it got taken a little further but it's okay i'm just saying i'm like i understand where you're coming from bro like i, I understand you this is me being me i ain't trying to be nobody else on the camera i ain't trying to i'm just speaking real like like i ain't capping right now i ain't trying to be funny or none of that shit like i understand that you had to do what you had to do to get your emotions out i understand you feel me? Like, I, I genuinely, you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's okay. I feel you, bro. Like, how I always say, I feel you. Like, I, I, I see where you're coming from. But, yeah, man, like, if, if, if I was talking to you right now, bro, I just want to say, like, keep doing what you're doing. Use these lame ass niggas. Keep going up on these fuck niggas. Don't get in your feelings about now one of these niggas out here, because not talking about nothing just like how you would tell me don't get i know you would tell me don't even get don't even get your feelings about none of these stupid ass little hoes man and you know i'm not you know how, you know how, you know where i'm at with this shit bro you feel me i'm acting like i'm talking to her right now i ain't really talking to y'all i'm talking to her you feel me you know where i'm at with this shit bro and you know where you need to be at but you know what i mean like, i can't say too much on that shit but money they ain't paying they can get the fuck on. You feel me? If they ain't paying you, tell them get the fuck on. You feel me? And that's just that, bro. Uh, 
he ain't gotta respond. You got my number. Buy my phone. Y'all know who it is, man. Hit me. Uh -huh.